through your mouth. Just open up, open up and release. Hallelujah. Sing a song unto the Lord. Sing a new song.
your praise. Just release it in the atmosphere. Everyone just release some kind of praise with movement, with your mouth. Sing a new song unto him. Sing a different song. The next few songs is just instrumental. And we're just releasing our praise unto the Lord. the worship team. You are the priest. You come before him. Release your fragrance. Release your incense. God would say he inhabits the praises of his people. That's the spontaneous praise. The song of the heart. Just release it. Shaka tararabaku.
He's so holy God He's so awesome God You are awesome God He's so worthy God Ooh. Worthy is the Lamb Worthy is the Lamb Worthy is the Lamb Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy, 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 worthy. So holy, so holy God. So magnificent God. Holy. You are the King of Kings. Holy. Let's join with you the are God. the Lord of Lords, oh God. Holy. There is no one like you, God. Holy. Splendor and majesty. Holy. And you are holy, God, oh yeah. Holy. You are my friend, oh God. Holy. So holy, God. Holy. Magnificent in all your ways, oh God. I 
love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you. You're number one to me, oh God. You're number one to me, oh God. You're number one. You're number one. Number one. New mercies, new mercies, new mercies, 
new mercies, new mercies, new mercies. Boom, 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 boom,
I say yes. I say yes to your will and your way. I say yes to your will and your way. I say yes to your will and your way. I say yes to your will and your way. I say yes to your will and your way. I say yes. 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 I keep my mind on you. I keep my mind fixed 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 on you. Day and night and night and day, 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 I'm in love. I'm in love, 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 I love you, 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 Such an awesome God, such an awesome God, such an awesome God. 
nothing I hold on to. nothing I hold on to. There's nothing I hold on to. There's nothing I hold on to. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. You are awesome, 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 Jesus. You are mighty God. 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 God, you are mighty God. You are mighty God. You are mighty God. You are mighty, 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 mighty God. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are strong. You are omnipotent God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ha hallelujah ha hallelujah ha hallelujah ha hallelujah ha hallelujah ha hallelujah Hallelujah Jesus Hallelujah Bless your name Jesus Great and mighty I love to praise the Lord it is truly what I was created to do in the earth realm is just to release the praises of God and, 
And um, tonight, I'm just, I'm not going to be before you too long because we're going to tag team and Spring's going to come up here when I get finished and uh, she's just going to release something in through the atmosphere. But um, tonight when um, Debbie had, um, Spring had, at first Spring said if we wanted to go, I forget where we were going to, somewhere else, it was an opportunity to go somewhere else and minister tonight. And she says, and then uh, shortly after that, um, she says, well, Debbie said if we wanted to, we could minister here on Tuesday night. And I says, okay, you know, and I just, I said, okay, we'll just see what God says. And and I just kind of like tucked that away. And some, I don't know what night it was during the, the week. Um, that um, I heard the voice of the Lord said, you know, bring it home on Thursday, Tuesday night, just in a practical way. And just tell people how praise brings an increase. Share some of my stories, how praise brings the increase. And how, you know, God says in, the, in his word, word that he desires to have a kingdom of priests, kings and priests. And I've been like, man, I've been pulling after God for just more about praise more about praise and more about praise than just what I've, what I've heard and what I've learned. And, and I said, God, I want to know more about this praise thing. I want to, I want to know that it, that it works, God. I want to see that it works. And, and I, I've, I've been seeing that it works. I've been seeing it in my life. And I'm, I want to see it work on a, on a larger scale. And I want to see it work so large like the Tower of Babel. You know, and, and, and there is, there, if there's a vision that I have, he says that he rides in on the praises of his people. And that word there, praise in the Hebrew, is the tehillah praise. It's the spontaneous praise. It's the unwritten praise. It's the unwritten songs. It's the songs of the heart. It's the mixed in because if you, when I begin to study that word in tehillah, the root word of tehillah is still halal. And halal is the clamorously foolish praise. It's the highest praise that we can give God. They said it's the hallelujah praise. And it is not silent. It is not. Uh, it's, it's, it's to rave. It's to boast. It's to make a fool of yourself. It's to show. It's the, it's the showness of God. But yet, we don't enter into it. Let the high praises of God be in your mouth like a two edged sword. You see, the enemy has come and he has silenced our voice. Why has he silenced our voice? You know, I, I want to ask you, and this is going to be kind of interactive in my few minutes I have here. Um, the music that we just played, can anyone tell me, you just hollered it out, I don't care. Uh, this is family. Um, what type of music that it was. Uh, wrong. Why do you think it was worship? Hmm? Declarative. Okay. That's the definition for praise. To declare. Be vocal. You may have thought it was worship because it was at a slower pace. The beat doesn't declare the praise. And that was the one of the reasons why I tonight, because if you notice, it can, can you say that and if those of you that have been here with me and seen me praise and, and when I play my electronic music, was there any difference in my intensity tonight with a slower beat? than it was in my intensity when you've seen me with a fast beat. Same intensity. Same intensity. And that's why I, I, I love Will, the last song I love Will Regans, that whole, that whole CD that with, with Will Regans, is praise. It is not depicting on a rhythm or a beat. 
It's not how fast the song is or how slow it is that, that depicts whether it is praise or worship. Worship is out of a love relationship between you and the Father. Worship is our highest level of praise. Praise is our weapon of warfare. Praise is our celebration unto the king for who he is and declaring what he has done. Worship speaks of his love and his adoration of our hearts. So it doesn't have anything to do with the beats per minute that declares whether it's worship or praise. It is our position in which we stand in and how we do it. Praise is a, um, uh, it is a verb. It requires some kind of action. It requires for us to engage. It requires for us to bring something to the table. It requires for us to join in. We praise God until worship happens. We enter into worship. He says, enter into my gates with praise. If you look at the tabernacle, it was a, a perfect image of our worship. Praise was in the outer court. Inner court was worship and intercession. They brought their offerings to the outer court. And then they progressed into the inner court. And that veil has been ripped. And it be, Because before, we had to wait on some kind of man to go into the inner court for us. When Jesus died upon the cross, it says the veil was ripped. And we all have access. But we still must follow protocol. Every major, major conquest, success in my life, I can point back to praise. This last few months in, 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 in my life, I, even right now, you know, this is, I can, I can go as far back as when I lived in Atlanta, and I lived in Atlanta about, oh my gosh, about 15, 20 years ago. I was 18 years old when I moved to Atlanta, and I'm 50 now. I'm, I'll be 50 April 25th. I'm getting there. I get, when I moved from Atlanta to New Jersey, I was frightened, scared out of my pants, because I didn't know where I was going to live, didn't know how I was going to, I had a job, that's all I had was because I transferred with my job, and I drove 1,600 miles with a U-Haul truck and my my truck on the back of a U-Haul flatbed, and every mile I went, I went, hallelujah, glory to God, God, you are good, and your mercy endures forever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. You are wonderful. You are mighty. You are awesome, God. There's one, no one in the truck but me. What was I doing? I was making a way. I was plowing the field. Because I heard that, 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 that the, the, probably the Sunday before I left, I heard a message by a, a pastor. And he said that if you wait until uh, everything looks right to move, when God says move, you're going to miss it. If you wait, he, said, he says, go through, go for it, send praise first. The word of God says, send Judah first. 
Send Judah first. Send Judah first. Send Judah first. Who do we, who do we fight? Where, where do we fight? How do we fight, God? The, the, the prophets, how do we fight, God? Who, how do you want us to fight this battle? Send Judah first. Why do you think he said that? Yeah, it's literally sending him first. Empowering the way. And this pastor, he said it like this. He says, if you just begin to praise God, he says, the, uh, uh, um, it's like when Moses and them went across the Red Sea, everything is held up and the path is open for ah. you to walk forth on, 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 on dry ground. And everything that was supposed that was that is trying to stop you or hinder you or cause destruction in your in your path has just got held up. How did Pharaoh's army, you, 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 you know, the, 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 the wall, there was a wall of, of, of fire that came and held them up just so that they could make it through on, 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 dry, on dry ground. We are not using this to, to, uh, to, uh, to the maximum. When I needed an increase in my job, in finances, Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, you are good and your mercy endureth forever because praise brings an increase. I, I just, February, uh, June, I moved to Los Angeles. How, do, how have I been making it out there? Hallelujah. Glory to God. December and January, that um, is my, it's, it's probably my, uh, it is my uh, less busiest months of, of, of the whole entire year in traveling in full-time ministry. And you know what I did those months? I got in the house of prayer, and I went into the house of prayer, and I went just about for a whole two or three weeks I went in there and would go in there, set them in there, set them in there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, you are good. And your mercy endureth forever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. My schedule this year is almost full. Why? Because I praise God for my schedule. If I need a financial blessing, I praise God in advance. It's called the sacrifice of praise. From the fruit of your lips, offer up sacrifice of praise. In the Old Testament, you had to bring in a bull, a lamb, a turtle dove, or, or a grain offering. He did away with that. But he says, only thing I ask of you it's from the fruit of your lips to offer up praise. You see, this is what kings and priests do. <laughs> Guys, I, I, can, I remember in New York City going and, 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 and setting up my uh, table like that in markets not knowing if anyone was going to buy any of my merchandise. I remember the first time spring, went, spring came up from um, California to New Jersey with me. It was in November, and it was bitter cold. And no one was coming in to buy anything. He says, okay, we're going to get to work. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I decree and declare by the power of the blood. I praise, I praise, and I decree and declare by the power of the blood that finances come in. Come in from the north, south, east. I didn't care how they came in. Not long after we got finished, someone walks in, buy a handbag and a flag. I would never forget it. Because I looked at this guy, and I was like, why is he buying a flag? And I asked him, I says, do you want me to show you how to, to use it? He says, no. I says, what are you doing? He says, we're doing a film right, right down the street. And um, how much is it? He didn't bother about the price. Paid for my booth. 
and excess. We went to Latvia a couple years ago. And over there in Latvia, um, they, uh, it's a community of people that don't have very much finances. And they says, Caleb, uh, every other speaker that we bring in, uh, they lower their prices uh, so that because they want to get their items to the people hand. It's more important that they get their, that people get the uh, 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 product in their hand than it is about the money because they know that it's, uh, uh, that the people are not well off. He says, you can lower, you, do you want to lower your prices? He says, God, what do you want me to do? He says, no, teach them about praise. Praise bring the increase. He says, no, I'm not lowering the prices. He says, well, I don't think I'm going to come by. He says, okay. I taught on praise. I praised. Sold over $1,000. They were like, oh, no one has ever did that here. No one. Stuff was flying off the table. And finances get low. I praise. This is what priest does. Because he is the one that brings the increase. We're to increase the government of heaven on earth. And how are we going to do this? Through praise. Praise establishes the kingdom of heaven on the earth realm. When I lived in Jersey, I had a loft up above my room. It was my praise room. And I would go up there every morning and praise God. Because I as I was driving, I mean, even when I was driving to New Jersey, gosh, oh my gosh. I didn't know how I was going to make it because I left Extreme Prophetic and I was, had, my time was finished there and I was going. And, and Patricia even had a book out about carving out your realm. And I carved my realm out through praise. And I'm going to read this. I had a whole bunch of stuff and I didn't even gonna go over that. <laughs> but I wanna I wanna read this one thing and I wanna turn it over to uh, over to praise. <laughs> I wanna turn it over to spring. Dave, I'm gonna read this because uh, this is a a, a a little nugget that I got from Patricia, and because she knows the power of praise as a as a priest, and she gave uh, this this is years ago. She wrote this down and and I took it and I says, Oh my gosh, Patricia, this is good. Can I use this in my teaching? She says, Yeah, go ahead. David knew the power of praise. He named his sons praise words. In each of his sons' name, I want to read to, to you here what his son's name was. Uh, spring, get ready. Get ready. Y'all going to enjoy spring. Do I have to play piano for you? I guess too. She likes <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> David's sons was named, one son was named Perez, which means breaking forth. When you praise, you will break through into new realms of opportunities. Praise enables you to catapult into new areas of breakthrough and kingdom experience. Her Hezron, H-E-Z-R-O-N, Hezron, which means armor, shield, weapon. Your praise will establish the armor of God over your life and all that pertains to you. Your praise become a powerful weapon against the assault of the enemy on your life. Your warrior, uh, your warrior king, Jesus, is released through Praise to fight on your behalf. Carmi, C-A-R-M-I, which means strength. When you praise, your strength will be renewed and you will receive refreshment that comes from the presence of the Lord. Hut, 
which means freedom, liberty, no limitations. Your praise will open up realms of freedom and liberty to you. Chains of resistance will fall off and you will soar into new levels of encounters in God. Showball means traveler, pioneer, embracer of corn, coin, coin, sorry, coin, currency, kingdom, wealth, overflow. He named his sons with meaning. To when he, so it, when he spoke his son's name, that was what he was speaking out in the atmosphere. And you see, it says in, in, in Genesis 49, verse 8, it says, which is Judah. Ooh, 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 yeah, I got to read that one, huh? Yeah, Judah. It says, Judah, which it says, your hand will be on the neck of your enemy. And God bless this awesome man and Dr. Miles Moreau. <laughs> I, um, as I was preparing here today and, and just asking God, you know, how do you want me to bring this and how you want me, to, I began to go over a, a whole bunch of notes and stuff that I have here. That, you know, I just really kind of like, this is how I apply to my life. And I came across these notes and stuff that I had from Dr. Miles Moreau that he wrote this book on praise. And I'm just going to give you some of these little nuggets and I'm, I'm done. Everything in life was created to function within a specific environment. Man's idea, ideal environment is the presence of God. Man's sin has separated him from the ideal environment. Sinners are malfunctioning saints. Therefore, all our problems stem from the fact that we have lost our ideal environment. God is holy. He cannot allow sin to enter his presence. Salvation through Jesus Christ is the only means by which we can return to God's presence. Praise and worship are God's gift to restore his presence to man. He wrote here, he says, if if the dwelling place of God is in Judah, see, because he says that he, he, he dwells in the praises of his people, the Tehillah praise. The, the, the Tehillah praise is the spontaneous praise. It is not, you know, like when, 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 you, when you hear these people singing this song, you don't got to sing the same thing that they're singing because you're, you're, you're being repetitive. If you notice when they were singing songs, I would catch something that they sung and I'll just begin to make it my own and I begin out of my heart because that is the praise that he inhabits. And we have become these robots that begin to sing the same things that everyone else is singing. You see, that's the, the, the person that wrote that song, that's their weapon of how they broke, broke through. They're just, the, they're just supplying you with a medium so that they really want you to just begin to take it and make it your own and you begin to form out, begin to frame your own place of worship. What we, what we can learn here, what we can learn, what can we learn from this story so that we too may receive the blessing and favor of the Lord that Judah enjoyed? To answer this, let's rephrase some of the scripture quotations from, uh, from above here. So we're gonna do, I'm going to replace where it says Judah, and I'm going to place praise in that place. The hand of praise will be on the neck of the enemy. Praise shall go first. Praise is God's authority and power. In praise, God is known. Praise is God's dwelling place. We should be walking around the earth on a continuous basis 
God, you are good, and your mercy endureth forever. Great and mighty, great and mighty, mighty is the Lord, mighty is the Lord. I'm, I, I understand that you guys are saying, you know, some of you in here since Caleb, you know, I'm not as loud as you are. I, I'm, I'm, I don't do it quite like you. Well, I softened the music for you tonight to give you some examples that you don't have to do it to my EDM music or you don't have to do it to that fast praise music is all depicting on the words that you choose to use that begins to frame your, your world and begin to release the praise. So you can just simply, even at your work, because I've, done, I've, I've, I've simply gone into the bathroom and sat on the toilet. So you know how people say, I'm going to take a cigarette break? I'm going to take a praise break. I'll be back because if they got, if, if, I, don't, I don't have to work in the work environment anymore, praise God. But when I did and everyone would go take a cigarette break, I'm going to take a praise break. I'm going to the bathroom or go outside and hallelujah, glory to God. God, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Great is the Lord and greatly. I, I mean, I'm not going to go, I mean, do it. You don't have to be loud about it, but you got to release it out of your mouth because it says from the fruit of your lips. Offer up the sacrifice of praise. It has nothing to do with your character or your demeanor or who you are. He, it is a commandment from heaven. It is a commandment from the throne room. It is a commandment from the government. So you find a way that, that you do, can do it that is uncomfortable to your flesh. I'm going to say comfortable to your flesh. You can just be go, go in your work and, 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 and places, and if you need an increase, I use, I, one of the ways I trained myself, I used to set my smartphone to buzz seven times a day to offer up praise unto the Lord. Because it said in the Bible that David praised God seven times a day. So I just took that kind of, that, that model. I didn't do it on a religious level. If I had already done it when the, when the phone rang, it was good. If I hadn't done it, the phone rang, it was a reminder. And I was just, hallelujah, glory to God. God, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Great God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You are mighty, you are great. You are awesome. Praise is declaring who he is. That's yada. Yada is declaring who he is. It looks like this. Toda is a sacrifice of praise. It looks like this. It's giving. It's an offering. Shabbat is releasing a loud shout. Ha! It's like paralyzing your prey. Like when a lion roars and paralyzes his prey. Zamar is taking your fingers and applying them to string in, uh, an instrument. It doesn't necessarily have to be a string instrument anymore, but in the Bible days, that's all they had was string instruments. So it says uh, string instrument. A piano is a string instrument. It is a drum or some kind of way of just releasing. Your, when you, you know when you do this, this is praise. It is, it is in, the, in the Hebrew, it's called smiting the enemy. A clap <laughs> smites the enemy. When you leap, it's called nathar. It releases a fragrance, an incense that drives out the occupancy of the, enemy, uh, of the enemy. It releases freedom, joy, and liberty. A wave offering. So there are so many different kind of functionalities of ways that we can praise God on our jobs, in our schools, everywhere we go. And we're releasing the kingdom of heaven in the earth realm. My challenge to you today is in this next week, Apply this to your life. Watch an increase come into your life. Watch the kingdom of heaven.
be manifest in a more practical and in, a, in an enormous way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, when I... Girls and yellows for boys. <laughs> Caleb, you're supposed to be up there. Um, when I first met Caleb and he had told me about the setting the alarms on his phone, I just did it because I was like, if it works for him, it's going to work for me. And then, so I've had it. It's still on my phone um, for years. And in April, no, in May, in May, I went to Africa. And two days after I got home, my father had um, heart failure and was rushed to emergency. And so we spent about... 10 days straight in the emergency room and my my family's not believers and um my niece was here from canada and so um from school visiting and um we spent it in the emergency room and so my alarm praise alarm would go off and so i'd be like hallelujah praise god and she would laugh at me she's like what is that and she's 18 and um i'm like it's a praise alarm and she's like okay and it simply says on there praise god and so she would laugh when she would see my phone. But by the end of our time spent in the emergency room, my praise alarm would go off and she would say, hallelujah, hallelujah. And then about two weeks later, she went back to Canada and she sent me a picture. She had put on her phone alarms that said, I'm grateful. And I thought, okay, God. You know what I mean? So praise does bring an increase even in our families. You know what I mean? When, when we live it, we'll see the kingdom begin to manifest everywhere that we go. So, little praise testimony there. So, I was asking the Lord um, just really what he wanted to do because, man, there's been so much that's been released since we've been here since Monday. And even before we got here, so much was given. And I'm not going to apologize for... <laughs> for what he gave me. So we know that uh, Spirit of Life is not a church. You know what I mean? That everyone that comes here has has their own homes that they go to. And um, so I was even just reading, you know, what what is the mandate, you know, of this house? And it's um, Spirit of Life's position is a hub, a rendezvous where believers from many churches, tribes, and streams can meet, be refreshed, revived, refilled and go back to their areas of ministry and or marketplace and so we know in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11 it says you know God gave some to be apostles and prophets evangelists pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of the ministry and a lot of times we think of work in the body of Christ as a bad word um, but they bring in lots of gifts into this house and when these gifts come in it's not just to um, give us just an experience we do get to encounter God in maybe a different way that we don't when we have on our functioning hats in our own houses we may get to encounter him in a different way but they're coming in to equip us the body for the work of the ministry and in James it talks about in um going to read it. James 1. Um, there, uh, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. And we want to make sure that we're not doing that. There was so much equipping that's happened this week. And so um, I was looking at it. Caleb, if he was a kind gentleman, would have left me his glasses. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite 50 or even close to it with these glasses. I'm starting to need. No, I'm not close. They're, they're dirty. So, but, but I was thinking about um, the, the stuff that's been released just this week or even from Pastor George, and it blessed me 
to see the immediate, thank you, the immediate um, action taken to what was what was released here because it's so important in first timothy it talks about you know waging war according to the prophecies that were released because there's been a lot of prophetic words released in this house in this region in this state for what god wants to do and we can release them people can keep coming in and keep releasing the words and so many of them are the same because there isn't work being done and he's going to continue to say it until it happens. God, why aren't you saying something new? Because you haven't done the first thing that I've told you to do. And that's not fair condemnation, but that's just how it works. Caleb talked about praise being an action word. That's the kingdom. Everything in the kingdom is movement. Everything in the kingdom is action. And God is really good at equipping us. And we've got to get really good at doing the work of it. And I know um, oftentimes when you say that, uh, people are like, but instantly, like the Martha Mary thing. But when we work from a place of his presence, it, it, it's, not, it's not in vain. We, we, we experience God. We have Isaiah chapter 6 encounters, and we have Revelation chapter 4 encounters, and we encounter the throne room, and we encounter the king, and we get direction, and we get strategy, and then we go out and we do it. So then the next encounter that we have with him, we get the next piece of the puzzle. Thank you so much. Um, he, he, gives us, he gives us the next thing. So Pastor George released a strategy on intercession, and you guys have picked it up as, as a region. Like, okay, we're going to do this. And even was it Bobby Connor who said, you know, where, where's the geese? You know, where's the intercessors? You know, so, so God's saying something about that, and you guys are beginning to activate that. And then Sam and, and uh, Grant came and gave amazing teaching on the courts. Amazing teaching on the courts. Probably beyond a lot of our understanding or comprehension. You know, but, but, it, but it was powerful, and it was a, it was a key. And then um, even when we, we broke through in the gates... And he said that the, the shackles had come off the gates the one night we were all here. And, you know, in Scripture it talks about open up ye gates. And we are, we're gates. You know what I mean? That's praise. Open up ye gates. But we, it's up to us to keep those gates open. Um, and then even uh, the teaching, you know, Caleb's continued to release on praise and prophecy. There was so much teaching on prophecy this week and so much teaching on outreach this week. But what are we going to do with it? Because he wants to pour out new wine, but we've got to create this wine skin that can contain it. And that's going to take work. Spring, well, what does that mean? Well, we're first going to go to prayer. You know, for me, I'm thinking, like, I was stretched this week. Those teachings that Grant and Sam brought, I'm like, wow, okay. But what am I going to do? I'm going to go and I'm going to study the scripture. And then I'm going to apply it. Do I understand it all? No. But Holy Spirit's a great teacher. You know, I'm going to listen to the messages that were released and go, okay, God, what, what is my part to activate this thing? Am I from Oklahoma? No, but I'm part of the kingdom. And I want to see, and I want to see it established. And so that's, so when we come in here and you guys get these teachings and, and, and these being equipped, it's time to, to put it to work. And that may mean going into your individual houses, you know, your local church and go, okay, what are we going to do with this? God spoke this into our region. How does that look for us as, as a local church? What, what is our part? Because every joint supplies. What joint are we? Are we the eye in this strategy or are we the foot? What are we? You know, and then even the, the practicalities of, of, of the, um, the outreach when we went to lunch on, on Saturday, and we, we minister to our waiter, that is something that we can do every single day. It doesn't matter where we're at. And it doesn't have to be some big profound thing, but let's be love. You know, when, when we're walking it out and a, a simple smile or a simple hug or, wow, that shirt's beautiful. So simple. But man, maybe they just need it to be, just to be encouraged real quick. But it becomes this lifestyle that we live because the kingdom is not something that we turn on when we go to a local meeting or we, we have our local gathering in our local church. But the kingdom of God is within us. And, and Christ in us, the hope of glory. 
And then in the, in the scriptures, it talks about, and I think in Habakkuk, where it says that the whole earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. Hello, glory. That's us. That's us. We wait for the manifestations of the gold on our hands and all that. And that's good. That is, that's part of it. You know, that's part of the manifestation. But Christ in us, the hope of glory, is wanting to get out and flood the earth. And that's going to take work. And it's going to look different for everybody. But, but I, I just really felt like to, to release that challenge of how does that look in my local house? And then how do we partner together as, as a body of Christ? How do we come together? I was so, so uh, encouraged even during, uh, I'm going to call it corporate prayer just because that's, um, before, before the, the gathering tonight, just in what was being released about no competition and, and, and all of that because that's what it's going to take. Because in Ephesians 4.11, it talks about the equipping for the work of the ministry until we come into this place of unity. Because in the place of unity in Psalm 133, I think it talks about that's where the commanded blessing is. That's where the commanded blessing is. In this place of unity. And I believe God's doing that in and through this region. And that's probably, yeah, I think it was. You were praying about uh, no division. I think it was you, Steve. Not, not having division. And that, that is the ploy of the enemy was from the very beginning. And it will always be the tactic that he uses because he wants to destroy a family. We are the family of God. And if he can divide us, then, then we begin to fight amongst each other. And so unity is so important in our local house and, and as well as in the region. This, this hub is a little bit different. It's new and it's unique. But God's doing a new thing like he said he would in Isaiah. Behold, I'll do a new thing. Will you not recognize it? You know, he's making rivers in the midst of deserts. He's bringing this place, a place of refreshing where people can come and be refreshed. As leaders in ministry, sometimes you just need refreshing. You, it's, it's easy to get caught up in the function that God has called us to, to walk in and, and do it and do it well and do it unto the Lord. But you forget that there's more, more than just right here. And so you go to the, these other places and God begins to broaden that and say, hey, there's a little bit more I have for you. And, um, and even when Caleb was talking about praise bringing increase. Hallelujah. And, and creating wineskins. When, 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 when we begin to praise and we carve out this place for God to inhabit, we create this wineskin for him to begin to pour into. And sometimes we don't understand it. And even when I was talking about, you know, waging war according to the prophetic words that are released, um, that looks like just praying into them, you know, because sometimes we don't understand them. I remember I, um, as soon as I got saved, maybe three months after I got saved, I was at this um, women's event and um, this woman came up to me and she's like, I see you as an administrator and administrating for the kingdom and all this stuff. And I was like, what the heck is she talking? Like, I had no clue. I was like, she is so off. She is so off. She doesn't even know. And so, but the scripture says, you know, that your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. So at that time in my life, I was working um, as an executive assistant in a nonprofit organization. And... Um, never saw myself uh, in full-time ministry. And so almost six years ago now, I've been an administrator for a ministry in California. And then about four years I've been for Caleb. And I was sitting at my office one day scheduling for something in another nation. And all of a sudden that prophetic word came back to me about me being an administrator. And I thought, oh my God. Who ever thought that the gift of administration would take me all over the world? Because I have this heart for the nations, you know? And who ever thought that this administrative gift, I'm supposed to be in an office. What are you talking about? I'm going all over the world because of this gift. You know what I mean? But, but from this place of praising God and carving out this wineskin and just taking the tools of the kingdom, and we've been so well equipped. Even if you just took the tools released this last week, you took the tool of intercession, and you took the tool of praise, and you took the tool of courts, and you took the, 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 the tool of outreach, and the tool of prophecy, and you just began to activate those tools. 
this wineskin will begin to be created. And oh, the wine that he will pour into it. How tasty it will be. You know, and whatever that looks like for you, whatever it looks like for you, it's going to look a little bit different for everybody. But then when it all comes together, oh, it'll just be delightful. But that's work. And we need to not be afraid to be doers of the word. Because I love the prophetic and I love encounters with the king and I love all of that. But it says in the word that grass may wither and flowers may fade, but the word of God remains forever. That has to be our foundation. You know what I mean? So if we come into gatherings and we come into all that and we, and we don't apply the word that's being released, we don't have anything to stand on. Because the thing of it is, is we, we can have these great encounters and if there's no word, the encounter is not going to remain. We've got to know the word is, is, is it and that's what we stand upon. You know, that's, that's what we're, we're, we're releasing through praise. That's what we're decreeing is the word of God. His word says that to, my word will go forth and accomplish that which it was sent to do and it won't return unto me void. It's, it's the word of God. You know, so with all of the tools and all of the equipping that was even given out, study the scripture. Find the scripture. Stand on a scripture, even if it's one for each tool. So that it's not a, well, that's what they said. No, it's what the word of God said. That's your answer. That's your answer. That's going to sift out all the other stuff. Amen. So that's what I had. And then I just actually had a word. Do you have anything else to release? I actually had something that I just wanted to release to you, Debbie and Steve. Hallelujah. We wanted to give you this. And if you could just open it up. And uh, Debbie and Steve are the most amazing. Everybody in here is amazing, but they are just, they've, they've won our hearts. And, um, and we just wanted to Um, we wanted to agree with you we wanted to agree with the Kairos time that God has you in we just wanted you to know that we agree with heaven and the time that he has you in and we agree with you know even in, in, in Esther when it says that you've been called into the kingdom for such a time as this and we agree with that and um and I thought it was really cool because I counted the clocks up there and you had 11 and that one was number 12. <laughs> um, but, but we do. We agree, we agree with what God's plan from the very beginning for, for, for this, not only this hub, but for this region. And, and, and we're partnering with you. And we're refusing to let go until we see the fullness of the kingdom established in and through this region. You know, we're, we're committed to pray for this region and this people. We're committed to fight with you. We're committed to praise with you. We're, we're committed to rejoice with you. Highs and lows, we're committed to Oklahoma. Right, Caleb? <laughs> we are. And so if you guys could just stand to your feet. Caleb, if you could just pray just a little bit prophetic. I just want to see what he does. Come on. Hallelujah. We honor you, God. He moves through. He does. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. God, we just thank you for what you're doing here in Oklahoma. We thank you that you're faithful. God, that your promises for this people and this region and this state are yes and amen. Father, we thank you that your word is true. And God, I thank you for every prophetic voice that has come and released your word into this region. We partner up with your word tonight, God. We partner with your word, Father. We thank you for the equipping that has taken place. We thank you for what you have lined up, for what you've prepared before the foundations of the world, God. We thank you for that. We tap on the well of this region. We say, spring up, O well. Spring 
up a well. Father, we thank you for living water to flow in and through this land, God. Hallelujah. And Father, I thank you that those in this region, God, know their identity. That they've been marked by heaven, Father. God, I thank you that this is a people who will be doers and not only hearers of your word. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for winds of refreshing to begin to blow. Winds of refreshing to begin to blow, God, over these leaders in this house, God. Over the leaders that are here tonight. I thank you for refreshing winds. Refreshing winds come. Refreshing winds blow. 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 Hallelujah. Shadaradaradabasonday. Yeah. She can did it in Besoto. Hallelujah, Father. If um, actually, if you were one in here that feels like you need to be refreshed, I just kind of want to lay hands on you and agree with that. If you want to come up here, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for refreshing. Holy Spirit, refresh. Hallelujah. Winds of refreshing. Winds of refreshing. Refreshing winds, God. <laughs> hey, Shakandarabasuto. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for refreshing. Refreshing, 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 refreshing. Thank you. Thank you. Blow, 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 blow. <laughs> refresh, refresh, refresh.
God, for lifting up hands that hang low and bringing strength to feeble knees in this place, God.
Lord, that we will be who you have called us to be. We will not draw back now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you that you have given us this opportunity. You have given us, you have entrusted us with this assignment. Every one of us in this room has an assignment. Everyone that's hearing this has an assignment. And Lord, you have, you have entrusted us with this assignment and we trust you to help us to complete it. That you would receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise, Lord. That you would receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. That you, O oh Lord, would receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Caleb, in spring, I honor you. Thank you for coming. You know this house is always open to you. Every time you come, I just keep feeling like every time I just see this, this, it's like a gate and every time you come it's like it opens wider and opens wider and and you are um, very strategic very integral in opening those gates in this region and so thank you for being obedient and uh, and thank you for coming back because I know you will because if you don't we'll come find you <laughs> So thank you. And um, you will be at Through the Flame on Thursday night. Will you be? Are you going to be with tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night? Tomorrow night at home. Okay. So Thursday night. At the Gap at Oasis on Friday night? Okay. So Through the Flame is youth. A youth night. Of course, everybody's welcome. Come join the youth. And then. The Gap on Friday night at Oasis. Yep. That's you too. Okay. So, everyone can come. Everyone feel free. And then also, um, starting tonight, Pastor George is at, I know we call it the African Church. I think it's called Victory Church on Eastern. And he's there this whole, uh, through Sunday. So, if, if you want to... Uh, hear Pastor George go and, and be immersed in the African culture. You'll feel like, huh? It's at 7 o'clock every night. Except for Friday, they're having a, a prayer meeting from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock in the morning. So, anyway, so if Pastor George is over there. So, we want to say thank you guys for coming and be blessed. And, what was that growling? It was a growling. And, yes, and uh, beginning Monday night at 7 o'clock is Bonnie Jones. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Bonnie Jones. So, so be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen.